Port Arthur school administrators are asking families in the district to give them more money. The president of the Chamber of Commerce is telling the district to do what millions of Americans have done, tighten their belts even more. The two-week early voting period began today for the tax rate election. The district is proposing a 13 tax or 13 cent increase in the tax rate. The superintendent told KFDM News the district needs the extra money for several reasons. To satisfy a legal judgment in favor of the Valero refinery, to buy new school buses and do maintenance on other old buses, as well as give teachers a pay raise and do some capital improvements. Voters in the Port Arthur ISD will make their decision September 25th. KFTM reporter Leslie Rangel takes a closer look at what the district is asking families to hand over and why some are saying not so fast. Students are learning how to spell and read inside this first grade classroom at Staff Sergeant Lucian Adams Elementary. Outside these walls, adults are plotting the future of learning in the district. We got a lot of great things going on. Uh, and, and then we're yet faced with situations of lower resources uh, uh, and, and, and yet the needs are greater. The school district is proposing a 13 cent tax increase to help provide more resources and keep from tapping into its fund balance. Money from the proposed increase would help pay for teacher raises, among other things. They deserve to have the best high quality education available that we can provide, we adults can provide, and that's what we're doing. Test scores are up. Dr. Brown says the district needs to buy new school buses and spend more time on maintenance to keep some of the older ones on the road. Over half of the school buses here at Port Arthur ISD are over 10 years old, a large safety concern for students. This one, only three years old, just underwent major brake maintenance, while this one, 10 years old, means a lot more money for the district. The Port Arthur Chamber of Commerce sympathizes with the district, but the chamber president says PAISD needs to tighten its belt, like many families here and across the country. Port Arthur Independent School District currently has one of the highest rates, and if they increase it 13 cents per 100, it will be the highest tax rate in the area. The chamber isn't campaigning against the tax increase, and it's offering to help the district in any way it can. It's not like we're abandoning, any, abandoning them. We're just saying, let's just hold off for right now until the economy improves a little bit. But some people taking part in early voting see the proposed increase in a different light. Well, the cost of a Coke a day is something that we're willing to, to put out for our kids. If we don't have, maintain a good educational system, our community doesn't have any future. A community that Monday began passing judgment on the proposed tax increase. In Port Arthur, Leslie Rangel, KFDM 6 News. Early voting runs through September 21st. You can vote at the Port Arthur Public Library or City Hall. To read more about the proposed tax increase and what it would pay for, log on to our website at kfdm.com. You can also go to our KFDM News Facebook page to offer your feedback on the proposal.